What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video. I'm going to blast through the current jailbreaks uh, just because it hasn't changed since the previous update. But as I like to mention in these videos, uh, if you're watching this in the future or if it's older than a week old, uh, it's probably outdated and check out the playlist link in the description. Uh, in that playlist, I keep the most up-to-date video on all current jailbreaks for iOS there. So be sure to check out that playlist link if you guys want the newest information in terms of jailbreaking, uh, you can find it there. So we're gonna quickly cover the current jailbreaks. Like I said, they haven't changed, so I'm gonna blast through this really quickly. First off, we have Uncover. This only supports iOS 11.0 up to 14.3. So it's gonna be iOS 14.0 up to 14.3. It does not support iOS 14.4 or 14.5 or anything newer than that as of the making of this video. This is a semi-untethered jailbreak. Technically, no computer required, even though you want to install it with Alt Store and you need a computer for Alt Store, um, at least initially. Um, but yeah, you do need Alt Store to install it. You can use third-party app stores. I don't cover that kind of stuff anymore just because uh, Apple is pretty much ruthless with the certificates on those and usually they'll be signed and then later that day they're unsigned. So it's just kind of a, a losing battle. So I recommend using Alt Store to install Uncover. Now, like I said, this is a semi-untethered jailbreak supports all devices 14.0 through 14.3, and it is on version 6.1.2. Also, I do wanna mention for those of you that use the Uncover jailbreak, there was an update to substitute uh, recently. I'd recommend you guys to update your substitute as it, did, as it does fix um, some important stuff uh, regarding JetSAM limits and stuff like that. So make sure that substitute for your uncovered jailbreak is updated, uh, pretty important update. Uh, so that brings us to Taurine. This is very similar to Uncover. It uses the same Secuta Verosa exploit. Uh, you can jailbreak all iOS devices, iOS 14.0 through 14.3. That is what my 10s Max is jailbroken with. Uh, I like using Taurine just because I like using Procursus and LibHooker. Um, I just like that style of jailbreak. So that's what I use on my 10s Max. Uh, like I said, basically the same thing, semi-untethered jailbreak. Technically, no computer required. Uh, but in reality, what you want to use is Alt Store to install either Uncover or Taurine. And to use Alt Store, uh, a computer is required. I will leave my Alt Store guide in the uh, description. Um, but those are the two current jailbreaks that support all devices. That brings us to CheckRain. CheckRain works on iPhone 10 and older. Basically, if your iOS device has an A11 chip in it or older, you can use CheckRain. CheckRain is a semi-tethered jailbreak. Uh, it does require a computer to run. Uh, and it only officially supports Mac and Linux. You can use a Windows computer Basically, what you need to do is install Checknix to a USB flash drive, and then you need to boot your Windows PC up with that flash drive, and then you can use CheckRain to jailbreak your iPhone 10 or older. I also want to mention that for those of you that use the CheckRain jailbreak, um, iOS 14.6 RC was released yesterday, and CheckRain does uh, work on it. It is confirmed, so when 14.6 is released, you guys can update to it and jailbreak with CheckRain. CheckRain supports the newest version of iOS pretty much at all times because this is a hardware-based jailbreak for the older devices. And that is it for the current jailbreaks. Now, like I said, I wanted to mention a couple other things in this video uh, that I haven't really covered. Uh, the first one is Manticore. Um, I'm sure some of you have probably never heard of this. And it's something that I've been very excited for, and hopefully we see it released here at some point. Uh, basically, it is Project Manticore, and it would be called the Manticore Jailbreak. So this is a jailbreak that's going to be similar to the Uncover Jailbreak and the Taurine Jailbreak. Um, so basically, it'll be using Secuta Verosa uh, exploit and be able to jailbreak all devices 14.0 through 14.3. And if they do get it released, uh, it is a jailbreak that could see updates in the future, kind of like how Uncover gets updated when there is new exploits released. 
Uh, and now I'm gonna explain what is cool about this jailbreak real quickly for you guys so you can kind of understand what it does. So Manticore will allow you to choose which style jailbreak you wanna use. So Uncover uses certain things and Touring uses certain things. And Manticore will give you the option to use either or. So when you jailbreak with Uncover, you get Cydia, you get Substitute, and you get Eluca Bratis. So that is kind of the fundamentals of that jailbreak. When you jailbreak with Taurine, you get Cilio, you get Lib Hooker, and you get Procursus. And that's just the style I prefer because it's more modern. Um, the Cydia suite is more old school, and a lot of people prefer the old school, and I understand that. Uh, but for me, I just like the, the more new school, um, open sourced, um, more modern style jailbreak. And that's just my preference. But that's what's cool about Manticore is Manticore, uh, when you go to jailbreak, your iPhone will let you choose, do you want Cydia or do you want Cilio? And depending on that choice, uh, you will get the suite of you know utilities that they use uh, depending on which one you choose. And I thought that that was a really cool concept so hopefully we see Manticore released at some point. Of course, when it's released, I will cover it here on the channel. Um, very exciting and that would be very cool to use. And like I said, uh, if it does get released, it could get updated in the future as well if we get new exploits. Uh, and I think that would be really awesome to have another jailbreak uh, available for people to choose what they want to use. Now, moving on to 14.6 RC. So 14.6 RC, which is the release candidate, uh, did come out yesterday. So 14.6 will officially be released, I would say within a week or maybe two weeks at most. And that's going to be pretty exciting because we will have security content for that version of iOS and we will get to see what was patched in 14.6 and maybe there will be something usable to update, uncover, and touring. I also want to mention here real quickly that the... Um, the gentleman, uh, Modern Poner, that discovered uh, Secuta Verosa, the exploit that's used in Uncover and Taurine, still has a bug, and it's the PAC Bypass, and we still have not seen this patched by Apple. It hasn't been in any of their security content, and as you can see here, it does refer to a 14.5 exploit. So maybe we will see when 14.6 is released, uh, that Apple has finally patched this, and we might see Modern Poner release it. If that happens, this could potentially be used to update Taurine and Uncover to newer versions of iOS. And I would assume, if it's patched in 14.6, that this exploit would work 14.5 and 14.5.1, which would also support 14.4.2 and 14.4.1 and... 14.4. That would be super cool if that's the way it works out. Uh, so, you know, there's still potentially a bug floating around out there. Uh, this does, you know, bring hope to jailbreaking on uh, newer versions of iOS 14. So hopefully we see this patched in 14.6. And if we do, that could mean there's going to be uh, a strong chance of the jailbreaks being updated for those versions. Now that brings me to which version of iOS 14 should you be on? Well, the lower, the better. If you're on 14.4, stay there. As I've been mentioning, if you're on 14.4.1, stay there. 14.4.2, stay there. If you're on 14.5, stay there, so on and so forth. Always stay at the lowest version of iOS possible. That gives you the best chance in being able to jailbreak your iPhone. And the way you can do this is you go into settings, you go to general, you go to software update, and you turn all of this off. I'm just gonna turn it on to show you. So if this is on, your iPhone is gonna update automatically when you sleep at night or when your iPhone is sitting on the charger. You need to turn this off. You need to not update your iPhone to get a jailbreak. The lower on iOS you can be, the better your chances are of getting a jailbreak. And that's gonna be basically it for this video, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely smash the thumbs up button. That really does help my video out a lot and it helps it outrank the scam tubers. Uh, but this has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.